Wet supers is like rocket fuel for bees. Hello, I'm Griff Reese. Welcome to Winning Griff Faith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now we're on the bees. We're up in Cardigan. And Andy. Hi, guys. A new beekeeper to join Winning Griff Faith. Second week. Second week. Going okay? All good so far. So we haven't done much bees yet, really, though, as you're not surprised, the weather's terrible. It is. Look at the temperature, it was five degrees driving up here. It has gone up to six degrees now, which still too cold to do bees. But time is against us really, because in about two weeks time, we're gonna be sending nukes out and that's gonna take a huge amount of our time. So we need to get around putting supers on the bees this week and next week to get first supers on everything, just to be ahead of the curve. So it's not ideal. It is raining a little bit. But we've got no choice, we've got to put supers on. What have we got? Two rows of supers, I think, and some supers there. We've got 30 something supers on. Queen of Sluders, we've got some feed, just in case stuff needs feeding, smoker, hive tool, all the bits and bobs. So basically, it's first day on the bees for us, really, even though we're not really working the bees. Come in to check the hive, the site there, make sure everything is here. There should be 21 hives on this site. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one. These sites are a lot further than home. We're about uh well over an hour drive from home, so I'm always wary of security on sites, but as the business grows and you have bees at you know mo across multiple counties it's just something we've got to get used to right get suited up and smoke a lit and we'll see what these bees are looking like <laughs> the old trusty day dent never fails available on the website if anybody wants to date and smoke her I've parked there today, not up and right back to the site because it was muddy coming up in here and you know I've still got road tyres on so I'm not going to change tyres until they are worn. The supers, the wet supers, these are basically like rocket fuel for bees where honey's been extracted and they're still sticky. We don't dry the boxes uh, for winter, we store them wet. So when these goes on the bees now, it is literally like rocket fuel. They've got instant food and it kickstarts the hive ready for summer. And if something is a bit light, at least there is, I don't know how many kilos, but probably a good kilo honey in all those frames combined. So they've got a little bit of feed, but anything which is really light, we're gonna have to put a super and a tiny bit of fondant on to keep them going. Now that's not ideal, because you don't want to be feeding with supers on, but if the weather's going to be cold for the next two weeks, then the bees will die without it. So, and we're not going to be uh, up here now for at least two to three weeks. So we've got to think ahead and be thinking where the bees are going to be in two weeks time, where they're definitely going to need a super in that time, and they may need feed in for the next two weeks as well. So we've got all aspects covered really with what we've got in the truck. So here's one hive, not really doing much, looking pretty rubbish to be honest with you, three frames of bees. These definitely don't need a super for the next two to three weeks, so if we put super these up, these are not going to mount too much, it's just going to lock them back. So we're just going to put the clown board back on, feed, and we're going to leave a queen of sluder under the roof, so we've got it for next time. So as you can see, they've gone through the feed. Let's back this hive is a bit stronger. Yeah, so basically that's what we're looking for. We want them to be this kind of size now. These are what we call, well I call them Welsh black bees. They're not 100% there, they're the locally adaptive bee that uh, Godfrey was uh, rearing up here on, on the sites we took over. He was pretty keen on, on breeding a certain type of bee, so these are behind what the buckfast are at this time of year, but that is looking, it's a decent sized cluster. 
I'm not going to pull any frames out, but this is definitely getting the Queen of Suda and the Super. And does it need a bit of feed in? No, it's got a tiny bit, but I, what I will do, I'll give it a little bit of a pollen sub just to keep it uh, growing till we come back next time for full inspections and assess where we are. Excellent job. And yeah, that's what we're using. And if you're wondering what this hood and jacket is, this is a Carhartt overalls. Now Carhartt, they don't do B suits, but this is a, a BJ Sheriff B farm avail. You can wear this with any overall. So if you just wanted to do B work in overalls, you can just buy uh, the B farm avail. It actually comes down to about here. Uh, and basically you turn any boiler suit into a bee suit. And just put that upside down over there then. There you go. Rain in now. We may have to jump in the car for 10 minutes, let this pass. Decent cluster. Super on, turns out. We only got one super left on here, so we gotta go back to the truck anyway. We'll take some shelter and get back to it. This spring has been one of the worst I've ever seen for rain and the ground conditions to be wet. Terrible start to the season. Just dived in the truck for hopefully just five minutes. Pouring down with rain. It's not good Andy, is it? Nah, not good at all. But hopefully five minutes and we can get back souping these hives up and feeding them if they need feed. Way too cold and wet to do anything else. But I'm just glad we're out here getting a start on the job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just starting to go on the eighth frame. Not amazing, but considering it is end of March, we're still in March, are we? Yeah. Yeah, still in March. Still in March. We don't want them too strong, really. But it goes to show the difference between these types of black bee and my buckfast bees. The nukes are stronger than the full-size hives at this time of year. These bees landing on Andy. Get that fur comb off the top of the frames. Wet super and on to the next. Shows how crucial the winter feed's been. They've needed it massively. This is getting worse as the shift's getting on. And he's soaked there. Eh? Soaking. I'm soaked. The bees are not too happy. But this is basically the average. We're averaging, I know, five or six frames. That's the average, yeah, so not bad for black bees anyway. Uh, I don't think I'll fill much now. The rain's coming down. I just want to finish, get to the next site, and empty the back of the truck as soon as we can to head home. So we just pulled this roof off. I thought something looked a bit funny down the bottom. Where is she? There she is. There's the queen. Is that your first queen, Andy, in the flesh? It is, yeah. There she is, yeah. So she was up there. 
always keep an eye out. When you flip them over and there's bees up in the roof, you never know if she's there. And there she was, up on the roof. Right, we're back in the track. Absolutely soaked. But that was a big sight, 21 hives done. We got enough supers in the back now. I think we got 14, 15 supers in the back. We're gonna do the next site now. And then that's probably gonna be it. Unfortunately, I didn't plan on it raining and it was raining. <laughs> but it is what it is, we're getting it done regardless. We're not inspecting bees today, just putting supers on, giving them space, giving them food, and we are still achieving that. And we're not putting the bees under any strain doing this in this weather because we're not actually going into them. Um, and the second we take the roof off, Queen of Suda, super back on top, we close the hive down instantly. We just, like, like I mentioned at the start of the video, we're doing this, not because we want to, because we haven't got time later on when the weather becomes good, there's just too many bees to get around and to do the nukes and get them shipped out. That takes so much time, so we've got to just go out now and get as many supers out there as we can. And that's it. Hopefully those supers are gonna rocket fuel the bees so by the time we come back here next they'll be ready for another boxes and we can do full inspections when the weather is a bit better and see where these bees are then. But overall very happy what we've seen. The bees are not too far ahead that they're gonna swarm next month but no dead doubts and they were decent sized clusters uh, for the best part considering uh, that these bees were you know native type black bees not buckfast bees so Pretty happy with that. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.